Hello and welcome to tips and tricks number RST002 titled RC Detailing with Revit Extensions. The purpose of this tip and trick is to enhance your skills and share with you the solutions to problems that other users experience. Our tips and tricks are created from the top 30 support calls logged with our support desk. If you require more information on our support desk, then please contact customer services on 01784 419911 or email customer.services at cadline.co.uk. All of our tips and tricks can be found on our website www.cadline.co.uk. Please remember that we are issuing tips and tricks for all Autodesk products as well as the one you're about to watch. Thank you. Okay, so welcome to Revit Structures. The purpose of this tip and trick is to just quickly run through with you the RC detailing with Revit extensions. Now I'm just going to show you on the screen a second a very simple A-frame using some concrete beam, columns and spread footings. I'm just going to very quickly show you how to add reinforcement to these using the extensions. Historically we could have done this using just the standard tools for example when I pick on the column I've got reinforced perpendicular and parallel too. However, by the time we get through setting this up, it can take a small while. So I'm going to come in and grab this column here, and I'm going to say, come into my rev extensions, come down to my reinforcement area, and you can see that I've got reinforcements for various objects. So this being a column, I select column and press OK. This will bring up the column wizard, and in here we can see the basic information about my column. So for example here, I've got the family name that it belongs to inside Revit. I got the type B and H and HC, and you can see these dimensions on the little diagram on the right. If I go to my stirrups, this is where I can start choosing my reinforcement. So I can say, right, I'm going to go for tens on the diameter of the bar. I can choose the shape code that I want to use for this reinforcement. So I'm going to use shape code 51, which is this one here. I can set DN, the distance between the bars, so I can say I want them at every 200 centers. And I can choose the distribution type, so I can put more bars at the bottom if I require them where they go into the footing, like so. That allows me then to change dimensions DT. So I can say, well, it goes at 200 down to 100. I can then go to my, my main distribu distribution bars, and I can choose, for example, 12s in there. I can hook them at top and bottom, and I can choose if I want dowels in the top of these. And then I can set in the length of dowel over the top, so I can say, right, 40 diameters. Press OK. It will go through, and you can see very quickly I've added the reinforcement to that object. If I do the same again for the spread footing, I can click on the footing, come over to my uh, extensions, choose spread footing in here. Let the wizard load up, and again, I can choose the type of bars I want in here. So again, I'm going to go for 12s on the base. I'm going to go for some small bars on the top. In my dowels, I'm going to add some dowels in the bottom going into the column. And stirrups in the pier, I can choose, again, a shape code 51. Press OK, and you can see that reinforcement's been added. If I zoom in on the enforcement, it looks a bit messy at the moment, so if I go to Thin Line and I go for Fine Detail, I can then go into my View Properties of those objects to turn them into 3D. So if I just highlight those objects here, go into Properties, beg your pardon, I need to go in and just select the rebars, go into Properties, and I can turn on the 3D Solid functionality of that. And when I press OK, and shade display, zoom in on the reinforcement, and you can see that I can see all my reinforcement bars in there, so I can check whether I've got any clashing. This information will appear in the section as well, so if I go to plan, and I generate a section through here, like so, and I go to my section view, section one, there is the reinforcement added, and again, if I ask for fine detail, I will get double line. Okay, that's the uh, a quick introduction to the Revit Extensions reinforcement. If you require any more information, then please contact our help desk. Thank you very much.